Welcome and you're viewed by DJSBRC. I want to show you how to change the bearings in the front diff of a TRX4. One of the first thing you'll need to do is remove your front wheels. To be able to remove the differential out of the vehicle. Now, this technique, let's say, I'm showing you, you're kind of removing the diff off the vehicle. You're not going to remove it completely. Uh, simple reason is because of the cable for the shifting point. For the shifting point, I mean the locker. Um, it's just a little kind of a pain in the... Uh, to take out of. Uh, not one of the things we're going to do here is remove our portal axle. Yep. Remove one screw here. Do the other side. This vehicle has been ran for two years. With uh, the stock bearings. Now it is a time to do an upgrade. Now we're going to remove the bottom bolts. Just be careful. You do have a bushing. That makes a spacer at the same time. Make sure not to lose that. There is one on top too. And the other thing I'm not going to remove is basically the steering link. Again, I'm going to try to remove less item out of the vehicle. We might need to do it on this side here. Remove the other side. Make sure to keep the bushing with it. Now we're going to remove just the lower link of the steering. Because I forgot the shafts that don't, they don't come out of the portals. There we go. Now you got a couple of pieces in your hands. Let's put these guys aside. And flip the vehicle on the other side. Now what we need to do is remove our drive shaft, our shocks, and the lower links. We need a 1.5 for here. out pop it out that way it's not in our physical way now let's remove the lower link with the shock that comes off this guy will pop too there we go now we'll do the other side go shock pops off pop the link now what we have left is flip these guys try to put them out of the way now we have the the upper link and the lower link and the lower the link is on this side here. If 
up this link. And now we're going to remove this one here. And this is what I was saying earlier. It's still going to be attached to the vehicle as I'm not going to remove the cable here. Now inside here, you have to be careful. There is a clip that physically holds this cable in. Now what we need to do is flip it. And there's four, four screws to remove here. And we'll be able to remove the cap from the other side to be able to remove the bearings of the diff. It is good once in a while to change your bearings in your vehicle to maintain the peak performance of it. And like I said, this vehicle here, uh, it's been, I would say at least two years since it's came, it came out. This one here is one of the pre-release pre before it came on the market. And it is very, very due to be overhauled. And yes, these screws here are extremely long. There we go. Remove the cap. I'm just going to try to place this truck like here. Now, basically, the cable is attached to this lever here. Now, unfortunately, we will need to remove this to be able to remove bearing one, two, and three. Just remember how the clip is positioned from the cable to it because you need to put it back the way she was. Now, what I'm going to do is slowly just lift it. And, and try to take the diff up at the same time. And it's being a little bit stubborn for some reason. There you go. This I just kind of turn it a bit. And I'm going to try to grab a complete diff in one shot. And this guy here, I'm just gonna try to put it back the way it was. At the same time, I'm gonna pop, pop the pinging out to be able to remove these two bearings here too. Now, put this aside, don't lose it. It's very, being a little bit more stubborn. There you go. I'm just gonna try to knock it out of this hole here. There we go. Then what I'm gonna do is use my physical screwdriver to pop the other one. Because the reason I'm using a screwdriver is because it doesn't go further and this is the smaller than the bearing itself. Now these bearings are two different sizes that I have right here. And we got this guy. And we have this guy here. Now what we're gonna do, whoop, put the right bearing inside, the new one, <laughs> not the old. Pop this in, grab our pinion. Insert the pinion back. Now put this guy aside here. 
and let's concentrate on this guy. Again, this guy here has three different bearings again. We have a 5102. Out of two first bearings, I did change. Uh, one is a 613.5 and a 5x11x4. Five 5x11x4 11 four. Five 11 is pretty a common size in the uh, Traxxas uh, world. No bearings. Uh, we have this one, that one. Seems like I'm missing one here. Now what we're gonna do is remove this one here. That's this guy. Put that one aside. Now basically we need to remove this one. We're slowly gonna lift this. Just be careful, there is a pin on the back. Take the pin out and remove our bearing. Pop a bearing aside and insert a new one. Grab the pin, reinsert the pin, and put the locker back and grab our new bearing at the same time and pop it here. Now the other bearing seems a little bit stubborn again. We'll need to do a little bit of persuasion here. And try to flip it, it doesn't want to. There we go. Come on. Slowly it's <laughs> coming. <laughs> this is the fun of working on your vehicles, um, trying to remove stuff. It's really being stubborn. Try to find uh, my flat screwdriver here and see if I can't make it come out. For some reason, she doesn't want to. Come on. Yeah, she, I think I got it now. There we go. That's being a pain in the butt. Now we physically need, if I remember correctly, this is a 10-15-4. For that I was not prepare, prepared, should I say. Pop the new one in. Look at that, this one's super easy to remove. Go figure. Now we're going to grab our diff back, move this aside again, and put the diff back in. Now you hear a small click, you know it went down. Now I'll pop this guy back. Now when you're putting this guy back, unfortunately I can't really bring closer. What I'll try to do here is to zoom in. Hoping she stays focused. When you insert it, you'll see right here, there's a piece that goes through for this guy to be able to engage to disengage. Okay, you want to make sure these pin goes flat in these grooves here. Yeah, 
there we go now if I engage it by pushing on it you will notice that the locker here see if you can see it see it moving that means this is engaged correctly now I put our cap back on and physically put all our four screws back and rebuild the vehicle completely I'm not gonna bore you guys to rebuild it completely because you just dismantle it you should be able to put it back in one piece if you guys have any questions or comment please post them below I'll be gladly to answer you and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell notification to know when next time I upload a video Thank you very much.